Good readings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today I'm going to be tasting something that I just recently picked up at my last trip to H Mart. And it is this. Isn't it marvelous? It is a giant bag of puffed snacks. On it, it says Korean cracker or biscuit. But look how colorful and beautiful they are. The colors are orange, pink, kind of a pink red, green, yellow. And I immediately thought tricks in my mind. I thought tricks, tricks are for kids, silly rabbit. I know that these are not tricks, but these remind me of giant tricks. So I purchased this and I'm going to taste them. From what I could gather on the internet, this falls in the category of pong tui, which is translated from Korean as puffed grain. So there's all kinds of snacks that are puffed corn, puffed rice, that they have a really cool mechanism in these amazing iron vessels that you crank on, the heat is applied directly and the chamber is spun, pressure is built up and then it is open with a great burst, almost like a cannon explosion. And all this puffed wheat or puffed rice, puffed grain comes, it's incredible. I also, because I had a little fit of nostalgia, picked up a box of tricks because I have not had these since I was a small child. And even then my mom didn't buy these. I don't even know where I had these. I think maybe in those little tiny small cereal packs on occasion my mom would get those and I think tricks was included in that because I don't ever remember my mom ever buying boxes of tricks before but when when did tricks go from ball to fruit shape I, I'm not wrong right the, these used to be balls I guess this was a thing in the 90s and a lot of people liked this fruit shaped tricks so they went back to it but I believe the flavor is going to be the same while I was at the market I also found these two tricks minis Minis, mini tricks. So that does confirm tricks were at some point balls. So we'll, we'll taste this too, but let's taste the Pong Twiggy first. Isn't it amazing the associations you have with these colors? I think immediately fruity. Nope, no fruity scent whatsoever. Nothing. All right, here we go, pulling the balls. Whoa, lost one. <laughs> so great. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. A giant bowl of snacks. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I love it. They also remind me of the crunch berries in Captain Crunch, crunch berry cereal, which was my favorite as a kid. And that my mom would buy on the regular because crunch berry cereal, I ate Captain Crunch, crunch berry cereal until the roof of my mouth and the inside just felt raw. It was just so crunchy and hard, but delicious. Let's try a pink one. Get Tadaki Mills. Mmm! That pink one had a very much cereal like crunch. They are flavored, slightly fruity. The first one tasted. A little bit like berry. This one had a slightly lemony flavor. That was a yellow one. Let's try an orange one. Great airy crunch. The crunch is very similar to a cheese puff with a little bit of a sweet coating on the outside. Oh, I tried the orange already. Let's try green. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit sweet. Not nearly as sweet as crunch berries, not nearly as strongly flavored, but a little bit of sweetness and a slight fruity flavor. Have I tried all the colors? Let me try a red one again. Just a kiss of flavor, not too much, just enough to go poof in your mouth and then kind of fade. The base is corn, so it is a lot like a cheesy poof or a puffed Cheeto. That's exact texture and corny base, but sweet and slightly fruity. 
Love it. Really light, light little snack. And I like the level of sweetness, just enough to kind of enhance the corny flavor and the fruity flavor, but not so sweet that it's like too dessert-like either. And a great kind of popcorn-y snack in the way that you eat popcorn by the little kind of fingerfuls. You know what I mean? Let's try the mini tricks and just have a little comparison. Let's do a little mini bowl. Oh, I love how they hop. The colors of these are much more saturated than the Korean snacks and much smaller in size. These are the mini version. I would say the original were maybe three times the size of these. I don't remember there being blue. Just like Sour Patch Kids, there was no blue as I recall. And purple? Was there purple? Definitely not blue. 70s, 80s babies, let me know what you recall. I remember it being more like that. The Korean snacks had slightly different fruity flavors. Now let's find out if the tricks have different flavors. First, purple. Oh my gosh. Such a strong fruity flavor. Definitely more concentrated and artificial than those. Mm hmm. Mm. But corn base, slightly sweetened on the outside. These have kind of a powdery, almost kind of like a shell of sweetness on the outside, although they're very lightly sweetened. These look almost like they're more glazed. See how they're kind of shiny? Can't really see them. Well, the Korean snacks are more like a, a coating, even though they're still very lightly sweetened. This flavor is such a throwback. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like Fruit Loops, just like Fruity Pebbles as I remember. A very kind of citrusy, lemony flavor. Yeah, fruity, but not that sweet. Mm -hmm. I would say almost about the same. Mm. These are still lighter in sweetness, but these are surprisingly less sweet than I remember. Wow. Alrighty, let's try it with milk. Oh my gosh. I have rice milk because I am lactose intolerant. I do have things that contain milk when I do taste tests and oftentimes I take a lactase enzyme help me digest, prevent the gas, the blow, you know? Maybe you don't know. Oh my. Yo. It's a Dakimasu. <laughs> Such a throwback nostalgia. Little time travel thing. Oh my goodness. Lemony, crunchy, corny, milky. Mm hmm Yes. And not, not nearly as sweet as I expected. I think these are lighter in sweetness than Fruit Loops, as I remember. Fruit Loops is really sweet. And let's have some of the milk. The milk is sweet, has that lemony flavor to it. Although as a kid, I really didn't drink much of the milk. My mom always wanted me to. I wasn't a fan, oftentimes because it was kind of lukewarm by the end. It wasn't like icy cold, but I was never a big milk fan anyways. At any rate, yes. Okay, another experiment. Bloop, 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 bloop. To my Korean friends, if this is a travesty, I, I do apologize, but I'm just curious. It's surprisingly breakfast cereal like, but it's much better as a snack. It doesn't work with milk. It gets quite soggy. There's not quite enough sweetness or fruity flavor to compensate for the dilution that happens when you add a liquid like rice milk. Yeah. You get a crunch, but it gets soggy pretty quickly. Fruit shape. They don't look quite as vibrant in the fruit shape for some reason. Oh, but maybe this color is muted a bit because this particular addition of tricks is supposed to change your water, your milk, pink. So maybe that's why the colors don't look as vibrant because there's some hidden pink in there. The smell is exactly the same as the other and it's not quite turning my milk pink, but maybe by the end of this. All right, let's give this a taste. Here we go, it's a Dr. Mouse. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, these taste sweeter. Maybe because there's just more cereal on the spoon and much more like Fruit Loops. 
as an experience of crunch and flavor. In case you're not familiar with Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops is a fruity flavored breakfast cereal that is multicolored and come in little rings, hence loops, and they are sugar coated. Oh yeah, it is turning the milk pink. Do you see that? It's kind of hard to see, but it is turning pink. In terms of the mouthfeel of the size of the crunch in your mouth, I prefer the fruity shapes. I feel like there's a bigger crunch, bigger kind of like impact when you are eating it. Flavors are completely the same. And the color changing of the milk is pretty subtle, but it does happen and it takes on that fruity flavor of the cereal gimmicks. They're everywhere. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Subscribe if you're not subbed already. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Oh my gosh, where's my big spoon? This is it.